Lucas Hunter's got a nice push from Jason Teller in the 09, but here comes Scott Morales on the inside. Hunter throws the block. Now Teller has been left completely out to dry. Leaders are coming up on the lapped car of Ricky Gonzalez once again. Remember how he split the field into, into two groups last time they lapped him? Whoa, what, what's Gonzalez doing? Oh, problems coming into the tri-oval. We got Morales in there too. Oh, here comes traffic at 200 miles an hour. Oh, Frank Haxon just hammered the 01. And now he's doing barrel rolls down the tri-oval. Sarah Haxon, Henry, Henrietta Laverne. Oh my, yellow flag is out. This is our second caution of the day. Paul Lyons is your leader, but oh, it looks like he's got some damage, so he's gonna lose the lead to Jack Lucas Sampson, who got up, who got out of there clean. I have no idea what that was all about. I mean, Ricky Gonzalez in the nine just blocked the leaders and caused this big mess. He was going about 35 miles an hour slower than the leaders. I don't know what he was thinking. Top two are far ahead of the rest of the pack. Here comes the rest of the field, uh, led by Rachel Gonzalez in the 15. I believe that is Amy Harrison in the 102. It looks like she's got some damage. Uh, Jason Teller in the 09, who also has some damage. We've got a replay of this incident. Lucas Hunter dives low, but he gets held up behind the 9, who suddenly dives low to block the field. Uh, the 01 and the 9 get together. They take the 76 and the 09 into the wall. Amy Harrison uh, clipped the 76, it looks like. And in a few seconds, you're going to see the second pack come barreling in, led by Frank Haxon and Sean Donnelly. Frank Haxon just hammers the 01. You got a, si you got a sister, Sarah Haxon, and the 3 involved. And a bunch of other cars. You got another angle of this. The inside line dives onto the apron to try to avoid this, but they slide back up. Oh, man, what a nasty impact for both the 127 and the 3. Barton, Sandy in the 99. Jafali, and Amiha in the 139. Joey Harrison in the 100. The 9 and the 08 are already locked into the Daytona 200, but no one else in this wreck is. We got an onboard view from Frank Haxon, who doesn't look like even tried to slow down until he slid back up onto the apron. I don't know where his spotter was. Was he getting donuts or something? We've got a view from the cockpit cam of uh, Ricky Gonzalez, who looks like kept turning to the left even as the leaders were coming low. And then he gets hit by the 127. Earl, you mentioned the 9 was locked into the 200, but I don't see Ricky Gonzalez being in the car for that race. I think Frank Haxon may receive a penalty of some sorts as well for, well, failing to slow down until about 300 feet before the wreck. And even without a spotter, he should have known that, he should have known from the smoke that something was up and slowed down way before that. The officials are telling us that this race will be red flagged. Uh, due to a ton of debris at the exit of the trioval, the cars will be parked on pit road, and that Ricky Gonzalez and his spotter have been called directly to the hauler for after the race.